All right, guys, gals, Bob from Bobo2911 here again. Right, I'm going to uh, I'll take the uh, Fostec trigger out of the package. Now, when you guys do this, you have to be very careful uh, not to pull the trigger because um, if you do, what's going to happen is your springs are going to go flying everywhere. Um, ask me how I know. <laughs> Happened on the first one. Anyway, uh, let's open up this package here and uh, check it out and get a close-up close -up view of it, see what it looks like. Okay, let's see. It looks like they put a lot of staples in here. I took a few, uh, few of them out off camera, but I guess I didn't get them all. Anyway, so you get uh, an owner's manual with it, and uh, it goes over installation and uh, safety warnings and uh, stuff like that. Also, a card um, that this unit has been assembled and checked by um, one of the uh, staff at uh, Fostec. Um, and a, a warning card. Um, this wasn't in the last one. That's interesting. And of course, uh, information about the legalities of the uh, of the trigger, um, and uh, and a letter from the United States Department of Justice. Oh, pretty interesting. So that's that. Now you get a little bag, and what's in here is the uh, the Ambi safety, um, the trigger lock, trigger lock spring, um, and. Uh, that's what's in there. Now, you also get a bolt carrier, a stripped bolt carrier, uh, very similar to an M16 bolt, except for it's got a slight camper on the rear. Uh, this right here is an AR-15 bolt, and you can see how it is neutered back. Um, so it has no chance of hitting an auto sear, um, you know, for a full auto. So this is very similar to an M16 bolt carrier. Uh, with the exceptions that it has a slight camper on the rear bottom of the carrier. Uh, this is essential to the function of the trigger. Uh, it will not function with, um, without this. Um, and then, of course, you have the, the trigger itself. It's a, a, a beautiful piece of engineering. Um, I'm very impressed with it. Um, the other trigger I have in the rifle that you see in the uh, background there uh, has one installed and Functions absolutely fantastic. I'm very happy with it, as I said in the other video. Again, be very careful when you're installing this trigger. Do not inadvertently pull the trigger because the trigger will fly forward. The springs and the uh, retainers will go flying everywhere. And uh, you'll have a heck of a time actually um, probably locating some of those. So um, that's that's it. I just wanted to touch base on that real quick because I failed to do that in the last uh, video. But uh, this is the the actual trigger, and uh, and that's that. Very nice, very nicely made. So that's what you get. You get the trigger mechanism itself, and the little pieces that go along with it. The bolt carrier, stripped bolt carrier, of course, and uh, the uh, the parts, trigger lock, ambi safety, and uh, and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do a little video on the installation of uh, this particular trigger into a lower, and uh, hopefully you guys uh, enjoy that. And uh, well, that's it. So. You guys have a very pleasant day, and uh, I'm going to start getting ready for the, uh, the next video. Have a great day.